She's selling for about 25,000. 25,000 yeah. for this bag. People will pay that. People will fly from Dubai, meet you in person. Angel Pui is giving the lowdown on high-end designer handbags. Fashion houses like Hermes, Chanel and Gucci make limited editions. The hottest bags are the one that goes up in value. So with Hermes, it is Birkin, Kelly, Constance. Everyone is chasing after the same unicorn, as they call it. A handbag fan herself, she started a business last year selling some of those hot ticket items for a profit. A buyer in Korea sent $1,600 for a Gucci bag using an electronic funds transfer from bank account to bank account. I take PayPal, bank transfer, wire transfer, all of the options. And I was really trusting, never having an issue before. But a month later, Pewey noticed the money was gone. Perhaps they were switching account on me. I just didn't understand what was happening. I just felt this sense of shock. She called her online bank, Tangerine. Finally, you can see where your money's going. But all they could tell her was a bank in Korea had requested a payment recall and Tangerine allowed it. They should at least tell me about it, hear my side of the story, reject the, the, the request and have my back. She emailed her buyer, got no reply, wrote her bank too, several times, no response. Payment reversals are a common problem, says this expert, and as more businesses move online in the pandemic, she says, the problem is growing. When you hit a brick wall and you don't even know why the money's been withdrawn again, that's incredibly frustrating, and, and most people would say that doesn't, that doesn't pass any kind of fairness test. Time and again, she says, banks won't tell customers why a deposit was reversed. It adds insult to in injury when, you know, there's no communication. Nobody's explaining why the money was taken back. And so I think that uh, th this needs to change, absolutely needs to change. I think that transparency is something that's always desirable and it's just a part of good customer service. But it's all allowed, says the ombudsman. For instance, in cases of possible fraud or money laundering, thanks to the fine print in most bank account agreements. Usually they have language in them that gives the bank a lot of scope for how to handle these type of cases. Tangerine's terms say deposits or withdrawals from your account may be reversed and it may change the requirements for transferring funds at any time. After GoPublic got involved, Tangerine gave its customer her money back, but still wouldn't tell her or us what happened. Angel Pewey says she's learned an important lesson. Banks can reverse a deposit with no clear explanation why.